Hi everyone, this is Emmy. Today I'm going to show you how you can make one of these caged seashell necklaces. So let's get started. I'm going to work with a crochet cotton. This cotton has a bit of a little shimmery gold thread through it, so I'm going to use that. And a size 2.55 millimeter crochet hook. I'm going to work with two strands, so I have unwound some of the cotton, and I'm just going to start here without cutting it off. On a previous video, I showed how to crochet a cover for a glass stone or river stones, and today I'm going to show you how to do one for these shells. I'm going to start with chain 10, but it doesn't really matter how many you start with. Slip stitch to join and form a ring, like that. And now I'm just going to chain two, and I'm going to make a series of double crochets in the ring. The size of your item is going to determine how many double crochets that you want. This is going to be the back. So I'm just going to go ahead, I'm going to make a whole circle of double crochet, and I'll tell you after how many I've done. Okay, I had to do 18 double crochet, whatever number you need so that you have a nice flat circle. And this is going to be on the back of my shell. So it's going to fit like that on the back. So now I'm just going to do another row of double crochet, but I'm going to put a chain one in between each double crochet. So to get started, I'm going to chain three, one, two, three, and that's going to take the place of the first double crochet and the chain one space. So now I'm just going to double crochet in the next stitch, chain one, double crochet in the next stitch, chain one, double crochet in the next stitch. Like that, and I'm going to continue that all the way around. Okay, I've worked all the way around, and at the end of the row I chained one, and I'm going to slip stitch to join in the second chain of that first chain three. So slip stitch to join. I'm going to check and see how that looks according to my shell. Fasten off with a long yarn end. Thread the yarn end into a needle. Weave through the last row of stitches, and you only have to pass through every second stitch. So I'm just passing through the tops of the double crochets. Place the shell in the center. There's the back. Pull this and gather all of this around the shell. So just maneuver it in and pull it to snug it up like that. Turn the needle through one of the stitches and around to the back. Make a few stitches here to secure it. To make a neck cord, I made a chain cord with the same two strands of crochet cotton. You can sew any type of these buttons, so shank style buttons, or you could sew a bead. So I'm going to do that. On the other side, I'm going to make a loop, so I'm going to fold it over enough to pass over the button, and then I'm just going to sew it down. With my crochet hook, I'm going to pull the looped end through the top of the shell, just like that, and you'll have a finished necklace. 